music inspires me a great deal. It's not that I see paintings when I listen to music, but it gives me tremendous joy that I think I can able to express something in my paintings, which hopefully the viewer, that there is something there which grabs them, that they feel an uplifting, that it isn't sort of getting them down. And if, if that can be achieved, I'd be very happy. But for me, it is really just the process of doing it and be grateful that emotionally and, and physically I, I, I can still do it. We are about to launch a very, very overdue exhibition, a solo exhibition for uh, Ernestine Tejedal. She's one of these humble and driven artists that don't realize that they're creating magic. I'm so much looking forward to see my work hanging in this uh, absolutely beautiful and large gallery, uh, Gallery 133. The excitement is seeing the works hanging and walking in the room and seeing them in a different place. It just takes a minute when you go in and say, oh well, that looks actually quite good. And that, that is again an impetus to start again and continue to work. Ernestine's work represents music and she has found some way of truly expressing that on canvas. I've always listened to music. I've always been very close to music. Coming from Vienna, it's probably a given that you grow up with music. And so I decide what I would like to hear that morning. And that sort of gives me the direction where the painting should, will probably be going. And my mood more or less uh, directs me in the direction I want to, to go with the music, so I get up one morning and I listen, I want to listen to a Beethoven quartet. Okay, then the music will be leading the painting. Another day I feel totally that I want to hear something more contemporary, I would listen to Shostakovich. So it really depends emotionally what I lean towards, what I would like to hear, which directs uh, my, my work that, that day. It's a lot like speaking from the heart. That's when it always sounds the truest. Ernestine paints from the heart. She has been transported by this, this music and she's translating that on canvas. The mind, I, I leave more or less at the door when I start working. You let your mind go and let the painting go with it. And you listen to the, you know, what's on the canvas and to the music and then you sort of lead into where you think it should go. To me the painting is a dialogue between a painting and myself when I work. So the process itself is what more or less leads me on to the end result. And the process is what has always interested me and what still interests me a tremendous amount. I love the work itself, how to put paint together, and uh, particularly now with the inspiration, with the music connected to paint, which is for me somehow a unit now, is an experience. It's like a high. I, I want to re-experience it again. Abstract is not a, an easy thing to understand. It really is, though, about color at the end of the day. And it's a lot about brushstroke. And with Ernestine, Maybe it's a personality thing, maybe it's, you know, her nature, but she invites you into her imagery so beautifully. When you look at it, you're invited in. It's not pushing you away. It's embracing you. For me, color is light, color is life. It, it really is, and, and uh, I get and enjoyment of just looking at my dirty pots over there. Because every day, you know, I, I open them up in the morning to, to, to start. And, or if I start mixing new colors in a new pot, it is just an enjoyment to just work with this material. I mean, it, it is the color itself which actually inspires me to find certain harmonies which are enjoyable. I really try to forget all the things I've learned when I'm working. Intuitively, you have 
all that experience, but you have to forget it when you do something. You have to stay free. That's probably one of the most important things for me in the moment, is that I have a certain uh, free attitude towards what I'm doing. I'm quite content. I feel I had a wonderful life. I feel very privileged because I had a lot of people who supported me and helped me in, in emotionally in any other ways. And I, yeah, I, I would not do it any other way. I don't look back in any case, so I just look forward. And I, I think I would not paint if I wouldn't feel that I could still grow. And I'm still searching for certain things, and I still think I could search for certain things I haven't experienced. And I think that's what gets me going and keeps me doing what I'm doing. Ernestine is painting at this stage for herself. She's just in it for the satisfaction that she's listening to this movement or this sonata. She's enjoying it, she's engulfed in it, she's been taken somewhere that's now on the canvas. And we're now allowed to participate in that by viewing it. Now I'm painting for myself, yes. And you paint for yourself, but then I do hope that the next generation maybe sees there is something which could last. Yeah, I think all of us have that hope in some ways. Unconsciously, I think you hope it will survive you.